Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 15 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, solve the problem yourself, then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So this seems like a pretty simple problem. Roger has two boxes of nails. One box has 438 nails. The other box has 375 nails. How many nails does Roger have in these two boxes? So if I were to draw a picture here, I could see my first box has got 438. And my second box has got 375. And I simply want to know, how many boxes does he have in those two boxes? Well, that seems like a simple addition problem. And it is a simple addition problem, but we will go ahead and work it out and we'll see how some of these incorrect answers are found as well. So we've got 438. I'm going to use the standard algorithm here. That means I'm going to line them up. And I'm going to make sure my ones are on top of my ones, my tens are on top of my tens, my hundreds on top of my hundreds, and so on. So the standard algorithm, we start on the right side in the ones place. We're going to regroup. We've got 8 and 5. So 8 and 5 make 13. I'm going to write my 13 down here, but we can't write both digits in this one spot right here. So we're going to write the first digit. And then my 1, that's actually 10 ones. So I'm going to take that 10, and I'm going to move it right here on top of my tens place. So that's what we call regrouping or carrying. So we're going to write the 3. We're going to carry the 1. So my 13 is right here. I just have it split up with my 1 on top of the 10's place and my 3 right there in the 1's in the ones place. Now we're going to go ahead and add 7 and 3 make 10. Add that 1. Now we have 11. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take my first digit. I'm going to put it right here. Then I'm going to regroup. I'm going to carry my other digit, which also happens to be 1, and put that in the hundreds place. So really, it's 11 tens. I'm going to keep my 1 10 right here in the tens place, and my 10 tens, that makes 100. That's going to go in the hundreds place. Now I simply need to add 1 and 4 and 3. So 1 and 4 make 5, 5 and 3 make 8. So here's my answer, 813. Now, if we're not sure about that, how can we double check our work? Well, you can take this problem. And you can flip it upside down, and you can use the opposite or the inverse operation. So let's take our sum, 813. We are going to subtract 375. So you see how I flip my problem upside down? I should get my 438. But let's just double check. So I cannot do 3 take away 5. So I need to go to my next, uh, my next column, my tens column, and regroup. I've got a 10 there, so I'm going to take it away, leaving nothing there. I'm going to take that 10, break it up into 10 ones. So now I've got 13 ones rather than just 3. 13 minus 5, that's a little bit easier. That's 8. 0 minus 7. I know we're tempted to write 7, but we can't do that. There's nothing there. So we need to regroup uh, 100, leaving 7 behind. Break that 100 into 10 tens. Now I've got 10 minus 7, that is 3. And then 7 minus 3 is going to be 4. 438, so this matches this. So that is my good answer. That is the answer I'm going to keep. Now, how do we get some of these incorrect answers? Well, watch what happens if we do 438 plus 375. What if I don't regroup? What if I just say 8 and 5 is 13, but I can only put the 3 there, and that 1 just goes away? 7 and 3 is 10. I don't know where to put the 1, so I'm just going to have it go away. And then 4 and 3 is 7. And look, there's my 703. My 703 is right here. That's if you don't regroup anything. We know that's incorrect. What if we just do a little bit of regrouping? 438, 375. So what if I go ahead and regroup the first time? 8 and 5 is 13, and that's going to be 4, 11. But then I forget to regroup the second time, and I just leave it as 7, 13. Well, you see our 7, 13 is right here. This 814 is really close to the 813. Most likely the problem there is they just took this 8 and 5 and they just applied the wrong fact and they thought it was 14 rather than 13. So it's really close to the answer. That's why we double check with our subtraction.